Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Bye. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I don't know, but I'm having trouble with my camera. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I don't know why my camera, uh, I see it in white and, and black. No sé si ustedes me están viendo así en blanco y negro, no sé. Se me ha pixeleado raramente mi cámara hoy. Yes. Eh, no se ve como, como siempre se ve. Hola. Solo que se, se ve un color algo pálido. Con, con un filtro. I don't know what happened there. Ahora se ve azul. Hoy sí se ve a colores. Bueno, quizás así nos vamos a quedar porque siempre necesito el logo de la empresa. Si pongo el blanco al inicio se ve de color. Pero luego ya no se ve de color. El anterior estaba mejor dicho. Por ahí. Por ahí. Se va llegando. Por ahí, por ahí, por ahí. Yes, I hear it, teacher. Ok, por ahí. Por ahí, por ahí nos vamos a quedar. Entonces, hold on a second, let me... Adjust a little bit something here and other if we can start. It.
Okay, welcome. Let me check out the chat. Hello, teacher Camino Casa. Okay, Angel Giovanni. Uh, I would like to ask you the following question. A quienes me enviaron eh, que tenían problemas todavía para entrar en la plataforma, bueno, envié, envié el reporte, no sé si ya les mejoró, ya pudieron, les enviaron otra opción. Me comentan, por favor, si se pudo o no se pudo. Sonia. Hello teacher, este, fíjense que a mí ya no me dijeron nada y yo hoy por la tarde no intenté ingresar a la plataforma, así que no sé si me corrigieron, pero yo escribí a ese otro número que nos dijeron la vez pasada y pues de ayer no me resolvieron nada y hoy ya o volví a escribir y no me contestaron y después le escribí a usted. Sí, comprendo. Ah, y la cuestión es que es necesario que resuelvan porque uh, hay que entrar a la plataforma. Sí, o sea, yo al menos los ejercicios pasados los, los hice, eh, completé los 100 puntos, pero ya este no he podido ingresar. Sí. Comprendo. Bueno, vamos a enviarlo de nuevo. <coughs> Así que no sé si eso me afectaría si no hago los, los ejercicios de esta semana. Sí, le afecta. Sí, solo que, que pues sí, ahí ya no sé qué hacer yo, no sé dónde. Hoy le, le escribí a la chica con la que estuve hablando ayer si, si escribía a alguien más o si me comunicaba con alguien más que me dijera, pero no, no me contestó. No le respondió. No me contestaron. Okay. Bueno, ya vamos a, a mandar de nuevo el reporte. Okay. Don Alejandro is working now. Um, he's going to be as a listener, he said. Okay. Ya nos mencionó ahí que va a estar de listener. Eh, vaya, en mi caso, teacher, eh, acabo de intentar entrar a la plataforma y no me dice la contraseña incorrecta y el correo es incorrecto. Sí. Eh, vaya. Yo lo hice en mi computadora sí. y me, en la computadora me dice que o sea, mi correo no está actualizado para entrar a, a la plataforma de, de inglés corporativo. Sí. Incluso descargué la aplicación y no he podido entrar por eso tampoco. Siempre sí. me da esa opción y puse la contraseña que me dio Mayra y no pude tampoco. Y, y, ya, otro mucho... y ya no le escribió a ella para decirle que, que estaba pasando sí. ese problema. Sí, yo le escribí a ella, pero no me respondió el mensaje. Y ahí cuando salí de trabajar, yo le llamé y me contestó un muchacho. Me sí. dijo, eh, ¿con quién quiere hablar? Me dijo, con, con Mayra Rodríguez. Le ah, bueno, me se está bañando ahorita, me dijo. Ah, entonces le llamó más tarde, le dijo. Y ya no, ya no me contestaron. Ok. <ríe> bueno. Una de dos, o no le dieron el recado, pero ella de, pudo haber visto el mensaje. Por ahí, va eh... aparecer, por ahí va a aparecer, vamos a estar pendientes. Ella siempre se conecta... Eh, y bueno, ahí le vamos a hacer la consulta. Porque ella, bien, ella, ella es de la parte administrativa, tiene más acceso. Está bien, teacher. Ok. 
Y en el caso de Sony, también le escribió. ¿Yo? Sí. Sí, yo le escribí, pero no sé si yo estuve hablando ayer con Mayra, ya le voy a confirmar. <coughs> Bueno, busca por ahí. Sí, es que estoy buscando el número que nos dieron la vez pasada, pero no lo encuentro. Lo que pasa es que a mí, cuando me llamaron a ese número que yo escribí, me dijeron de que cualquier inconveniente que yo tuviera que llamara a ese número, entonces, o que escribiera ese número. Sí. Entonces, por eso fue que yo escribí ese número, pero... No apareció nada. No. Pero como le digo, ya no me contestaron, no me resolvieron, no me han resuelto nada. El miércoles simplemente me dejaron de contestar y ya no me dijeron ni vamos a ver mañana o, o vamos a ver cómo le solucionamos. No me dijeron nada. Ok. O sea, solo me, me contestaron unos mensajes y me dijeron, vuelvo a intentarlo. Lo volví a intentar, me seguía diciendo lo mismo. Ah, oh, aquí está el número de Mayra. Y al final, pues, simplemente ya no me contestaron. Y como le digo, hoy volví a escribir y nadie me contestó. Ok, permítame un segundo. Entonces sí, con Mayra es que yo he estado hablando porque ese es el mismo número que nos dieron la vez pasada, el 7542-3941. Ok. Uh -huh. Yo estuve compartiéndole las capturas que me daba el miércoles que me aparecía de que no estaba como registrada. Y pues ya ahora que volví a intentarlo, me parecía como que estaba bloqueada. Y me aparecía ese, lo de bloqueo y yo no me traté de meter más de tres veces la contraseña, sino que a la primera vez que yo metí la contraseña me apareció ya que estaba bloqueada. Y ahorita estoy elaborando. Y lo que me dicen en el caso de Alejandro, que él sigue sin, sin activar el usuario por medio del correo. Que en el correo que le llegó, ahí debe darle activar. Entonces, en, en, en una parte administrativa parece que no, lo ha, no le ha dado clic donde dice activar. Por eso es que no puede eh, accesar. Entonces, en el caso de... de el caso de Ale, Alejandro Alvarado bueno ya veremos eh, qué más nos manifiestan ah. 
going to check out the attendance now. Vamos a revisar la asistencia. Ya tenemos 16. El resto lo haremos después. Segundo, por favor. Okay. Okay, Ana Victoria. Present teacher. Okay, it's here. Uh, Andres Leonardo. In here, teacher. Andres Leonardo. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Uh -huh. In here. Okay. Hey, Angel Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Brenda, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, Brenda. Is there two Carlos? Carlos. I don't know. Carlos is there. Okay. Hey, Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Diana is there too. Hey, Erica. Present teacher. Okay, Erika is there too. Uh, Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ingrid Elizabeth. Ingrid. Ingrid. Creo que va de camino a la casa, teacher. Okay, eso dijo cierto. Gracias, thank you. Um, Ismael Ernesto. Present. Okay, smell is there. Um, Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Julia Janet. Present teacher. Okay, Julia is there too. Uh, Katia Maria. Present teacher. Okay, Katia Maria. Uh, Luis Armando. Okay, it's, it's there. Uh, Marvin Alexander. Marvin. Marvin. It's not here. Uh, Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra Elizabeth. Michael Enrique. Michael, Michael, ya no se presentó Michael. Ya tiene tres fallas seguidas. Rosalí. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra. On here, teacher. Okay, Sandra is there and Sonia Smeral. Present teacher. Okay, Sonia. Bueno, contarle que he mandado el informe otra vez eh, para, para, para poder resolver ahí el problema. Esperemos que nos responda y que puedan tener acceso. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's start talking about the, the new topic for today. Uh, Ingrid, Elizabeth. No la Good evening, idea. teacher. Es que acabo de llegar a casa y me acabo de conectar y vi que estaba pasando lista. Ahí está, ahí está. Okay, okay, excellent. Okay. 
Okay, take a, a cup of water. Te acabo de llegar. Tomarse un vasito con agua, tranquila. Relax. Ana Victoria, tell me. I have a question, teacher. Um, okay. La tarea número seis, estoy confundida porque pienso que, o sea, lo que está pidiendo es que se ordene la oración, pero yo lo ordené y todos me salieron mal las, las cinco oraciones. Entonces, no sé exactamente qué es lo que quiere en la tarea número seis. Ok, let me show you, let me show you. Ok, remember that you, what you need to do is just to read instructions. Recuerden que ahí aparecen las instrucciones, pero tranquilos, ya les muestro. Ah, teacher, quizás, no sé si eso le pasa a la compañera, porque a mí me pasó que puse las oraciones correctamente, pero me hacía falta el punto final, porque dice que hay que colocarle el punto. Y abajo hay que colocarle el apóstrofe exactamente como lo dicta la, el, el, la frase. Porque si le coloca otro tipo de apóstrofe, igual se la toma mala. Uh -huh, ok. You are talking about number six. Estamos hablando de la número seis, ¿cierto? Ah, I got you, I got you. I got it here. I would like to share with you in order that you can see it. Te la voy a mostrar para ver si es... You are talking about this one, right? Hola. Sí. Ok, vea la instrucción. La instrucción dice así, mire. Scramble the following affirmative and negative statements. Eso de scramble. Ordenar las oraciones. Ordenar las palabras, perdón. Yes. Scramble significa ordenar las palabras, ya sea de forma negativa o positiva. Make sure to begin your sentence with a capital letter. Yo les mencioné esto a ustedes ya. Asegúrense de comenzar su oración con letra inicial mayúscula. And type a period at the end y por favor póngale el punto al final si no están siguiendo estas instrucciones significa que les va a parecer no correcto de este ejercicio estuvieron haciendo también uno o dos creo ayer también hicimos otro Entonces, más pienso que es ahí el, el, el problema. Sí, creo, bueno, lo del punto sí lo he omitido, pero de ahí sí. ¿Inicial mayúscula? Sí, en todas. Ah. Uh -huh. bueno, bueno, voy a probar arregla, sí, agregando sí, el okay, punto. Ok, try, 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 try. Gracias. Ok. ¿Alguien más tiene otra consulta? Somebody who want to ask in something else. I can give you a hand. If not, I'm going to show you the topic for today. Si nadie tiene eh, alguna consulta, entonces vamos a dar inicio al tema de hoy. Okay, hold on a second. Let me open my presentation too. Okay, how about that? Okay, here we go. The topic for today um, is related with the, with the previous one. El tema de hoy está relacionado con el de ayer también. Oh. 
Okay, let me know if you can see it. Me comparten si, si está mirando. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. I'm getting yes. it. Okay, the topic for today is vocabulary practice daily routine. That means that we are going to continue talking about the same topic that we have yesterday. But right now, we are going to put in practice. Ahora sí, vamos a poner en práctica ya. Ya el vocabulario lo tenemos. This is class number nine. But in order to do this, let me start in this way. Okay, this is a reading. Uh, I'm going to read it in a slowly way. Esta es una lectura la cual voy a hacer en forma lenta. Ahorita póngale atención a cómo se pronuncia cada una de las palabras. And later on we can uh, look for uh, the meaning. But right now I need that you read it too. Okay. I'm going to start. Okay, Leslie is an ESO teacher at Henley College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. Okay, listen to this. Gets up, no get up. Gets up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. Lo que me preguntaron ayer por qué aparecía así. Do you remember that? And then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she start work at 9 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to make a stop right here. Voy a hacer un alto hasta acá because this is the first paragraph. Porque ese es el primer párrafo que necesito que eh, manejemos ese vocabulario. Okay. Um, I invite you to read it by yourself. And try to identify all the difficult words that you consider that uh, are uh, confused for you, maybe. Traten de identificar en ese párrafo todas aquellas palabras que sean como difíciles o confusas para poder pronunciar. I'm going to give you two minutes to do that. As soon as you uh, identify it, I am going to read it again, and you are going to uh, take a pencil, and you can write down the pronunciation as you hear it. And then you are going to remember it in a better way. Okay, le estoy dando tiempo que identifique todas aquellas palabras que considere difíciles de pronunciar. Luego lo leo una vez más y eh, usted de esa manera va a poder corregir. Did you finish? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to read again. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me do it now. Leslie is an ESO teacher at Henley College in London. On weekdays, she always gets up at about 7 o'clock. She has a shower and then she has a breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. And then she takes her daughter to school. 
she goes to college by bicycle at 8.30 and she starts work at 9 o'clock. Okay, now if you have uh, a question, just let me know in order to start uh, helping you. Okay. No questions? Teacher, teacher, uh, repeat in the hora de 830. 830. 830. 830. Esa palabra. Como Z al principio. Okay, hold on a second. Ese número generalmente aquí en El Salvador, la gente dice así, Peri. Peri. Yeah? But suddenly, out of the Salvador, you can listen 30, you know? 830. 830. Les digo esto para que se acostumbren y van a, y van a decir a. Ah, Allá la pronunciábamos de un modo y aquí se oye de otro. Algunas hay variaciones. A Perry. And she starts work at 9 o'clock. Ok, what else? ¿Qué más? Ok, veo que se, que, que se me han quedado calladitos. Ok, uh, Mayra, léame por favor el párrafo. Antes de que continúe, le explico. ISO uh, English is a second language. Leslie, ella trabaja enseñando inglés como segundo idioma. Ok, continue. Mayra, Mayra. Ok, teacher. Ok. Leslie is in Isol, teacher at, esa otra palabra no se me queda muy bien, Hackney. Hackney, Hackney College. Hackney, Hackney College. Hackney College. In London, on weekdays, she always um, gets up about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her team and get dressed and then she take her daughter to a school. Um, she goes to college by bicycle at um, 8.30 and she start work at nine o'clock. Okay, thank you. Will you repeat this word again, please? Mm, breakfast. Okay, breakfast. 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 Okay. Breakfast. Okay, thank you. Okay, somebody else wants to do it. Let me see. Uh, Erica. Lea, what about Erica? Listen, in an insult, teacher, I. I have na I have na Nico Nicole in Lom on weekday she always head out at four seven at top she had a shower. And they she had breath, breath with her hands, hands in down after breath. They bruise her thing in this dress, and they she cut her. Dar Dar to school. They go to college. Be 
basic up active and share start work at same up club. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bicycle. bicycle. Okay, I repeat. Bye bicycle. Bye bicycle. Okay. Daughter. 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 Bien británico, sorry. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, Pauline. Ya sabían que el inglés británico es más corto, ¿cierto? Los sonidos son más cortos. Yes. It's difficult. Sometimes it's really difficult to understand what they want to say. For that reason, I prefer American English instead of British. But... Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Dice Leslie, ahora sí de corrido. Leslie is an ESO teacher at Hadley College in London. On weekday, she always gets up at about seven o'clock. She has a shower and then she has breakfast with her husband and daughter. After breakfast, she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. And then she takes her daughter to school. She goes to the public by bicycle at 8.30 and she starts work at 9 o'clock. Okay, ahí está. Esto para que le vaya ayudando a la parte de reading. Because of the time, I'm, I'm going to read the next paragraph. Voy a leer el siguiente. Dice, at about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes the work at 5 o'clock and picks, picks up her daughter from her after 2 o'clock. She usually has dinner at about 7 o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches television on, or sometimes she listens to the radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11.30. Then she reads her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay, en ese parágrafo. Palabras complicadas. Hola. Ingrid, Ingrid. Sería el segundo párrafo, ¿verdad, Picha? Yes, I'm talking about the second. Donde dice, okay. donde dice at about one thirty she usually has lunch. Okay. At about one thirty she usually has lunch. Lunch, lunch. Lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit, fruit. in her fruit. Fruit. Like fruit. In fruit. Okay. In her hobby. She finished work at uh, five o'clock and pick, um, pick up her daughter from here after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and, and then she has a cup of coffee. In the evening, she watches televisions or sometimes she listen, listen to the radio. Radio? She likes listen to music. She usually, she usually goes to bed at about 11.30. 11.30, okay. Then she reads her book for about half, half an hour. She goes to sleep at midnight. Okay, okay. She, 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 she reads. reads. Okay. All the verb got inflation because we are talking about Leslie. 
you need to pay attention for that because uh, when you don't have an inflection, uh, the verb uh, can sound in a different way. For example, I can say, I get up, but in this case, uh, she always gets up. She, has, she has breakfast, I have breakfast. She brushes her teeth, I brush my teeth. I get dressed, she gets dressed. She goes to college, I go to college. What else? Let me see what else you can uh, put, uh, put the question about. She listens. I listen. She reads. I read. She goes. I go. Okay. Somebody else. Somebody else. Because I need to switch the slide. Or if you have a question, just let me know if you have a question. Please. Tengo una duda en cómo se pronuncia hija. Daughter. 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 Gracias. Esa es la forma más clara. In the middle of a conversation, you can hear, in, in the, for example, somebody can say, my daughter, uh, uh, she doesn't want to do the, all the, the duties in the house. Armando, he don't come. Teacher, can I read? Okay, go ahead, sir. The first, the second paragraph, it's up to you. At about 1.30, she usually has lunch. She has a sandwich and some fruit in her office. She finishes work at five o'clock and pick, pick up her daughter from her after school club. She usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee in the evening. She watches television or something. She listens to the radio, to radio. She likes listen to the to music. She usually goes to bed at about eleven uh, thirty. Uh, then she read her book for about half an hour. She goes to sleep at the middle midnight. Okay, what happened with the one that I got on the line? Do you repeat again? How do you repeat it? Fruit, fruit. Okay, I see. Fruit. La I no suena. La I no fruit. Suena. Fruit, fruit. Okay, fruit. Okay, what about this one? Usually. 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 Usually, okay. She usually goes to bed about, at about 11.30. Okay, I see, I see. Ah, y la otra era radio, radio. Radio. Yes. Radio. Radio station. Radio station. Usually. Right. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. The last one, who wants to read it? Because um, we need to move it. El último que se leer porque necesito pasar a la siguiente parte. El tiempo va caminando. So uh, we need to do something else. Okay, now volunteer to read. Okay, let's go to the next slides. Now we can read and we should pass on the next one. Teacher, yo levante la mano. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going back. Go ahead. Okay, uh, about one zero zero. One thirty. 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 Perdón. One thirty. Not thirty. One thirty. Okay. Uh, she usually has lunch. Okay, hold on ahí. Hold on ahí. ¿Cómo corregí esa palabra? ¿Cómo? As lunch. No, no, no. This one. Dijo usually. Ah, okay. Usually. 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 Has lunch. She has sandwich and some fruit in, in her office. Uh, she 
finish work at five o'clock and pick would her doubt doubt there daughter daughter da daughter from her after school club she usually has dinner at about seven o'clock and then she has a cup of coffee in the evening she watch television or some style the listen to I dijo radio. Radio, radio. Radio, perdón. Radio. Radio. She likes listening to music. She usually goes to bed at about 11. 11 30. And then she read her book for about half um or she goes to sleep at a midnight. Okay. She usually goes. She usually goes to bed. She usually goes. Okay. She reads. 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 She reads. Read. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, esto se lo digo en español. Hablamos hace dos días que los verbos sufren inflection, es decir, que agregan e S o S cuando se usan con terceras personas. Do you, re you remember that? ¿Se recuerdan eso, cierto? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Ah, ok. Ahora estoy aplicando eso. Pero la, por eso ya di un ejemplo antes. Las pronunciaciones son diferentes. Yo dije, I brush, I brush my teeth. Diferente de decir, she brushes her teeth. Ahí está. Y todos tienen inflex. Ok, pero because of the time, I need to move forward. I'll try to remember. Uh, I don't know if you uh, took a screenshot. No sé si tomó una, una captura. Because you are going to use it. Ok, but sorry, I need to move it. Ok, what is the text about? Tick. One box. Teacher, una pregunta. Hello, sir. Teacher, una pregunta. Tell me. Tell me. Eh, veo, que, veo, veo que utiliza bastante como los verbos, par, como en los irregulares, en algunas, pala, eh, algunas palabras, una palabra la usa como, como participio. Which one? Bastante, Which one? cambia. Which one? What are you talking about? Específicamente. Bueno, gas. No, pero eso no, son, eso no son participios, eso son terceras personas. Acuérdense que yo ya les di unas reglas donde dice que todos aquellos verbos que terminan en X, eh, S, H, C, H, O, eh, agregan ES. En este caso el verbo es go, entonces como termina en O, agrega ES. Si fuera do, diría she does. Acuérdense que vimos el do y el does también. Ah, entonces es la regla, no. Sí, ahí estamos aplicando la regla. El verbo sigue en, en presente. Lo que sucede es que ahí lo estoy haciendo, eh, lo estoy usando con tercera persona. Por eso es que usa ese cambio, ese inflection. Do you remember that I show you four different rules? ¿Se acuerdan que les mostré un cuadrito con cuatro reglas distintas? Y de hecho hoy lo estuve viendo. Que por cierto, sí. alguien hizo la captura y la envió al grupo. Entonces, eso es lo que estamos aplicando hasta hoy. Ok. Bueno, teacher, solo tenía esa duda. Porque okay, sí perfecto. se parece también bastante a los verbos sí. participios. Sí, y muy bueno que pregunte, porque así no le queda la duda y le ayuda a sus compañeros. Ok. Continue with the class. Uh, what is this text about? Tick. Hacer esto significa tick one box. For example, what Leslie does every day? What Leslie likes doing in her free times? This is what, um, this what is... Leslie do, does every day. Ah, okay. 
Okay, uh, let us continue. For, okay, circle two or four. Number one, Leslie gets up at seven o'clock, two or four. True. Okay, you true. True. It's true. true. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Let me get that here. Now, here. You say it is true. I'm going to put it here. It is true. Okay, number two, she has a shower in the morning. True. 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 It is true? Yes. Oh, okay. Number three, she goes to college by bus. False. 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 Okay, number four. She picks up her daughter after work. True. True. Okay, take a look at the pronunciation in this case because we have an S here. Diferente que diga, I pick up my daughter. A usarlo con tercera persona. She picks up her daughter after work. True. Okay, number five, she likes listening to music on the radio. True. 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 You say it's true. Okay. okay. And the last one, she goes to bed at 11 o'clock. False. False. It, it is for right? Okay. False. Okay, so lectura comprensiva. Read and comprehension. Okay, let me erase it. And I'm going to continue with my presentation because of the time. Let me see what time is now. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, look at the picture and read the text about Patricia's daily routine. Take a look at the picture first. Okay, I need you to take a look at the picture. Necesito que vea la imagen. De Patricia Nelson. Okay, and now we are going to read it. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. Okay, listen, we already started this part. Vean como ella hace su presentación y dice, I'm Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. Y esta es mi rutina diaria. I get up at 7 o'clock. I go to the bathroom, and I have a shower. Then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to school by bus at quarter at eight. My morning lesson start at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school canteen with my best friends. David and Emma at quarter to one. School finishes at half past three and I go home. At the home, I had a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my homework in my bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner. At seven o'clock, my parents are at the home and we have dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother reads her book. I go to bed at 10. As you can see, uh, right here is the description of Patricia's daily routine. Y ella dice, yo soy Patricia Nelson, esta es mi rutina diaria. Me levanto a las 7 de la mañana, voy al baño y tomo... Eh, Y me baño, sí. Después eh, tomo mi desayuno en la cocina. Realmente a mí me gusta el cereal eh, con fruta y leche. Voy a la escuela en bus, un cuarto a las ocho. Mi clase comienza eh, 20 después de las ocho. Tengo eh, almuerzo en el comedor de la escuela con mis mejores amigos, David y Emma. Un cuarto a la una. 
la escuela o las clases terminan a las 3.30. Ah, alguien me va a decir, mire, pero ¿dónde está el 30? Half es, el plan, uh, es 30 o la mitad, a las 3 y media, si usted quiere decirlo, literal así. Y me voy a casa, en mi casa, le tomo un refrigerio y, y juego en la computadora, después hago mis tareas en el cuarto. Eh, mi abuela prepara la cena. A las 7, mis padres están en casa y cenamos juntos. Después de la cena, yo veo televisión con mis padres y mi abuela lee su libro. Yo me voy a la cama con las tías. I forgot to translate it. I want to say. Okay, but, but the main point here is that how you can structure your daily routine. What I'm showing you this is just in order that you can follow this example. Uh, les estoy mostrando esto de eh, una manera como usted puede estructurar su rutina diaria. Usted va a tener que eh, hacer una parecida de esta manera. Siguiendo esos pasos, solo vamos a cambiar la información personal que tengamos ahí. But before to continue, I would like to hear uh, if you have uh, any question related with the pronunciation or maybe the meaning of the word. Okay, I'm Mr. Wayden. If you don't have a question, uh, I need some volunteer who wants to read it. Let me look for somebody else who wants to read it. Let me see. Uh, I got two hands up. Teacher. Okay, tell me. Yo creo que no puede ver mi mano levantada. Este... Yes, yes, I see it. I see it, Sonia Esmeralda. Okay, sorry. Eh, eh, mi pregunta es por qué acá no le agrega es al verbo ir, al go. Y en el, ah, okay. en el anterior sí. Ok, fácil. Y esto lo anota, por favor. Porque aquí ella, Patricia, está hablando en primera persona. Ella dice, yo soy Patricia Nelson. Ah. ¿Ya? Dice, yo voy a la escuela en bus. Diferente fuera que dijera, ella va a la escuela en bus. Ahí sí. Buena pregunta. Ok. No. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Diana, what about you, Diana? Ok, teacher. Uh, a pronunciation de at quarter to end. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Un cuarto a las ocho. At quarter to eight. At Así. quarter at quarter to eight. At quarter. At, at quarter. At quarter to eight. Okay, sure. Okay, and uh, okay. the question that you can use is how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? ¿Sí? ¿Cómo pronuncias? How do you pronounce? Quarter to eight. How do you do? Sí, okay. Y la ley así como está escrita, quarter to eight. Y yo ya voy a entender y voy a decir, ah, quarter to eight. Ok. Ok, how do you pronounce? Armando Girón, dime. Eh, teacher, Hello. ¿puede explicar un poco donde dice at half past three and donde dice half past? Ok, ok. Half, School half. finish at half, half past. Sí, okay, ok, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me, um, okay, I'm going to underline in order that you can do better. Okay, I have past three. See? Cuando veamos la hora, eh, you are going to understand that half is the middle. Half, la mitad. Por ejemplo, dice, you're half orange, tu media naranja. ¿Sí? Half orange. Entonces aquí dice, at half past three. Como media la, después de las tres, o sea, las tres y media. 
en vez de decir las 3 y 30 en números, yo lo puedo usar así. Half past three. ¿Me comprendió? Sí, teacher. Ok, half es la mitad de algo. If you have an orange and you use your knife and you cut it off, you got two halves. Sí, si sí, usted parte una naranja, tiene two halves. Dos mitades. Entonces aquí lo mismo, las horas. Eh, por eso usamos, dice, doce y media en vez de decir doce treinta. Ok, la otra pregunta era. Porque mencionó dos. No, no, solo era eso, teacher, solo okay. relacionado a eso. Ok, ok. Ok, well, if I want to, who wants to read it? Alguien que quiera leerlo. Yo. Ok, ok, Ana Victoria. Después Evelyn Karina. Ay, bueno. Ay. Okay. ok, ok, usted va a leer hasta... Donde dice, at what point the school finishes, va a comenzar el Okay. I, I am Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. I get up at 7 o'clock, I go to the bathroom, and I have a shower. Then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to the school by bus at quarter to eight. My, mor my morning lesson start at 20 past eight. I had lunch in the school, Katie, with my best friends, David and Emma, at quarter to one. Okay, no le oí una parte donde decía, I had lunch in the school canteen with my best friend. School canteen. School canteen. Ese es el comedor de la escuela. No voy a pensar que es una cantina que es en la escuela. Sí, ¿no? vi la traducción y decía cantina. Ah, no, 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 no. Ok, ok. Continúo, Evelyn. School finishing at half past three. Uh, I go home. At home, I have I snap. Um, I play computer games. Uh, then I do me, my homework in my bedroom. My, grand, my grandmother pre, prepares dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are at home and we have Diner, sweet, 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 sweet. After diner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother read her book. I go to bed at 10. At 10. Okay. Ok, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Dice, listen, school finishes at half past three and I go home. At home, I have a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my homework in my bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are at home and we have dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV with my parents and my grandmother reads her book. I go to bed at 10. Bueno, continúe, Ángel. Veo que tienes mano arriba, Ángel. El que le guste de ambos. Para. I am Patricia Nelson, and this is Magdali Rutil. I get up at 7 o'clock. I got uh, to the barroom and have a shower. The... I have breakfast in the chicken. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to school, but bus 
at quarter to eight. My morning lesson start at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school. Uh, Cartin, Cartin with my best friend, David and Emma at quarter to one. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to continue. Sería el, el segundo párrafo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí es el segundo. Bueno. School finished at half past, past three and I go home. At, at home, I have a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my homework. In my bedroom, my grandmother prepares dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are, are at home and we have dinner together. After dinner, I watch TV. I watch TV with my parents in, and my grandmother reads read her book. I go to the bed at 10. Okay, I'll go to the bed at 10. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to continue? Me, teacher. The first part or the second? The first one is the second one. Okay. I'm Patricia Nelson, and this is my daily routine. I get up at 7 o'clock, I go to the bathroom, and I have a shower. Then I have breakfast in the kitchen. I really love cereal with fruit and milk. I go to school by bus at quarter to eight. My morning lesson starts at 20 past eight. I have lunch in the school canteen with my best friends, David and Emma at quarter to one. Okay, thank you. Very good. Good job. Continue, please. Next one. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. And second. Yeah, the second school, part, please. School finishes at half past three, three, and I go home. At home, I have a snack and I play computer games. Then I do my homework in my bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner. At seven o'clock, my parents are at home and we have dinner together. After, after dinner, I watch TV, but my parents and my grand, grandmother read her book. I go to bed at 10. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it or, well, if not, I'm going to read again. I will try to read it in a slowly way in order that uh, all of you can understand how uh, you are going to do it. Of course, uh, in the next model, you are going to read it in a fast way. But right now, take your easy. And don't forget to pronounce in the right way. I'm, 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 I'm Patricia Nelson. Okay, bye. Rosalie, would you like to continue reading? Rosalie? Okay, okay. Yo leí, acabo de leer ese book. Okay, somebody else, oh, let me see if I see it again here. Sonia, 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 Sonia. Sonia, do it. Eh, leo el segundo párrafo. Yes, okay. Yes. A school finish at half past three. And I go home. At home, I have a snack 
and I play computer games. Then I do my homework in my bed bedroom. My grandmother prepares dinner at seven o'clock. My parents are at home and we have we have dinner together after dinner I watch TV with my parent and my grandmother read her book I go to bed at 10. Okay, perfect. At the moment that you are going to create your own uh, daily routine, you are going to follow this example. Let me see the time. Okay. Any questions apart from here? Any questions? No? No question, teacher. Okay, based on the rhythm, uh, you are going to uh, work in this activity. Are these sentences true or false? Correct the false sentences. Try to remember. If you consider that the sentence is true, you are going to write down the letter T. If it is false, you are going to write down the letter F. And false. If it is full, you are going to write down the correct sentence. For example, the first one, Patricia gets up at eight o'clock, two or four. Based on the- There is. Yes. There is. There is. True or four, two or four. 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 Okay, now you need to write down the correct one. Necesitan escribir entonces la oración correcta. Oh, tell me. Patricia, get up at uh, seven o'clock. Okay, Patricia. Okay, listen. Re read again. Patricia, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. At seven o'clock. De la que se corrigió. <laughs> Patricia, guess up, no get up, guess up. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, let it be, somebody else. She loves cereal with fruit and milk. True, true. It is true, okay. True. Okay, let us see. School starts at quarter to eight. True. 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 Yes. Yes, true. true. Okay. Better D say Patricia true. has lunch at twelve forty-five. Four. Really? Four? True. True or four? True. Four. It's true. Ella le gusta el cereal con miel. No, no, no. We are talking about letter D. No. Letter D. Patricia has lunch at 12.45. At it's true, teacher. It is true. Um, yes, it's true. It's true. It's true. Because they're at quarter to one. At quarter to one. Okay, at quarter to one. Okay, letter E, Patricia plays games after dinner. False. Okay, if, if it is full, can you tell me the right one, please? Your uh, interference. After snack. Uh, after dinner. No. Okay, letter F. Her grandmother watches TV in the evening. She watches TV. True or false? True or false? Tell me. 
false. No, it's, it's real. It's, it's true. It is true? No. False. No. No, false. no. False. <laughs> it is false. Okay. Could it's false. It's false. Okay. It's false because she, she watch TV. She no, watch the grandmother TV. read uh, the books. Read, read, read books. Read, read books. Okay, but don't forget the 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 letter S. She reads. She reads. Okay. Her book. Okay, thank you. Let's switch a little bit. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, let me see what I have next. Okay, okay, let us continue with the activity number two, match the following question of Patricia with the correct answer. You are going to tell me, yes, uh, the number and the letter. ¿Qué número y qué letras son compatibles? Por ejemplo, dice, what time does Patricia get up? Oh, one. Number one, uh, letter D. Number one is, late. okay, I'm going to give you uh, one minute in order that you resolve. Lo vamos a hacer así, vamos a dar tiempo para que los demás también lo puedan hacer. Okay. Quiero tomar una captura y trabajar para ahí.
Did you finish? Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. What you are going to do is this. You are going to read both parts. Van a leer ambas partes. Para que tenga sentido, ¿no? Okay, Sandra Ivette. Would you like to start with this activity? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let us switch a little bit. You are going to read the question and somebody else is going to give you the answer. Okay. And number one, what time does Patricia get up? Okay, uh, answer Julia Janet. Uh, two. Okay, uh, give the answer. Does, give the answer. Give the answer. Okay. Uh, does she have shower? No, 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 no. What you are going to do is give the answer. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Does she have shower? She get she gets up at seven o'clock. Okay, thank you. Uh Carlos, the second one. He responded on does she have a shower? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, thank you. Um, bueno, vamos a buscar los que tenemos cámara encendida, los que más están ocupados. Okay, then she, Katia, hoy no, hoy no ha participado, Katia. Ha estado cayendo. Y responde, sí. y responde eh, Diana Yamile. What does she have for breakfast? Um... Uh, and she has cereal, white food, and meat. As well. Repeat again, repeat again. <clears throat> she has cereal, wine food, and meat. Fruit and meal, and meal. And meal. Yes. Okay. Okay, next, um, Rosalie, an answer, an answer, Erika. Uh, number four. Yes. How does she go to a school? Erika. Yes, she does. Again, please, Nolio E. <laughs> Tell me, again. Again, please. Otra vez, por favor, Erika. Yes, she does. No, listen, listen the question. Repeat the question, please. A quien le corresponde la pregunta, repeat the question. How does she go to school? How does she go to school? Yes, How does she I go got, to school? Yes, I got to choose and buy a bus. Okay, but, but uh, you need to read exactly how we have it there. 
Usted va a leer exactamente como es. La pregunta dice, how does she go to school? The answer is letter. Letter. She got to school. She vale. got to the bus. Okay, okay, okay. Leo. She, she, goes, she goes to school by bus. Dígalo. She goes to school by bus. Okay, by bus. By bus. Okay, sí. Okay, thank you. Um, veamos, Mayra. The question, next question. And I need to uh, answer it, Sandra Yvette. Okay, teacher. Um, question five. Where does she do her homework? She does her homework in her bedroom. Okay, the questions number five said, where, where does she do her homework? And the answer is, she does her homework in her bedroom. Okay, and the last one, number six. Question number six, Natalie, welcome. Glad to see you again. When the, when does she watch TV? Okay, answer it, Ana Victoria. She watches TV after dinner. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let us continue. Now is your turn. Okay. Answer this question about you. You have five questions now. I need that you're writing down in your notebook and you are going to answer it. What time do you get up? You are going to answer. I get up at four o'clock in the morning. Number two, do you usually do you usually have a shower in the morning? And you are going to say, I always take shower in the morning. Si es que lo hace siempre. Si no, usted va a decir, I, I sometimes. <laughs> Ahí dependerá de usted. Okay, uh, number three, say, how do you go to work in college? Okay, make an screen. Uh, sí. Hagan una captura, por favor, y hacemos la respuesta.
Okay, remember that the moment that you are going to give an answer, you are going, for example, number four, what time do you start work at college? Uh, or, co or colleague, okay. Um, usted va a dar una respuesta completa, no me va a poner solamente, si alguien entra a las siete, va a poner seven, sino que va a decir, I start working at, sí, or my colleague start working at, Esta palabra es colleague, los colegas. Respuestas completas. Number three, how do you go to work or, or college? Ahí sí. Teacher, ¿cómo dice no. que voy a ¿Cómo se dice que voy a Okay, por favor. Solamente abramos eh, micrófono al momento que vamos a participar. Okay, in this case, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Let, let me uh, let me clarify number three and four. Say, how do you go to work or college? The work colleague is, is kind of similar. Okay, what time do you start work or college? En el caso que alguien estuviera estudiando, pero aquí la mayoría vamos a usar la palabra work. Work. Okay, somebody uh, was trying to tell me something, I don't know. Okay. Finish this year. Okay. Finish teacher. Okay. I finish teacher.
Okay. Finish teacher. <laughs> okay. You have some ideas how you can answer uh, this question. I get up up. You are going to add that time. I take I take shower at. I go to work by bus, by car, by bicycle, by motorcycle. Uh, I start working at 7, 8, 9, 10, different. I take a shower uh, in my office, in a restaurant, whatever. Okay, let me see time. Okay, what about the next questions? We have uh, uh, Okay, next question, number six to 10. What do you have for lunch? What time do you have dinner? Uh, number eight, who do you have dinner with? Esa significa con quien, señor usted. Number nine, what do you do in the evening? Number 10, what time do you go to bed? And number nine, what do you do in the evening? ¿Qué hace? No Before to go to bed, as well. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Que puede repetirle que dice que con quién. Ah, okay. Number eight. Who do you have dinner with? Ah, con quién cena usted? Con su familia, con su hijo, con su hija, con su esposo. With my co-work. The answer is going to be in this way. I have dinner with, see? Y, for example, number seven, say, what time do you have dinner? No me va a poner solo la hora, no. Usted va a decir, I have dinner at, what do you have for lunch? ¿Qué almuerza? Ok. You are going to write down all the
finish teacher okay finish teacher mute your microphone please okay i'm going to stop sharing and now what we are going to do is that all of you are going to share your daily routine. How you are going to do it? You are going just to read the answer for each question. And that way you are going to have your daily routine. Y ahora cada uno va a compartir su rutina diaria. De qué manera? Solamente leyendo las respuestas de las preguntas. No las preguntas, solo las respuestas. Y como ya tienen horas. Ok, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Teacher, yo levanté la mano. Ok, Armando. Go ahead. I get up at fight. 30 o'clock. The, the second says, do you usually have a shower in the morning? I uh, read, I read, yes, I do. <laughs> okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. That man. I go to the work in the motorcycle, in motorcycle. I start to work at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. I take a, I take I take lunch at uh work handy. I have for lunch a chicken. I have dinner at six o'clock. I have my dinner with my mom. I see TikTok in the evening. I go to the bed at uh, nine o'clock. All right, thank you. Anybody else? What about you, Katia, Maria? Are you ready, Katia? Oh, not less than a minute. Oh. Natalie, what about you, Natalie? Okay, I get up at four o'clock. I stay a shower at four thirty in the morning. I go to work by bus. Um, I start working at five o'clock. I usually have lunch at eight. 30 in the work. I have chicken soap. I make diner at night o'clock. I have diner with my husband and my son. Um, finish. <laughs> can you can you, only uh, could you repeat the time that you take your lunch? Repeat, teacher. Could you repeat at what time do you take your lunch? Okay. I have chicken soap. Yo entendí como que qué o que haces lo que comes para el almuerzo. And number okay. six. Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay, okay, no more. Okay, thank you, thank you. Next, somebody else. Okay, next, somebody. What about you, Sandra? Ibet? Teacher, uh, all the questions. All the answer. All the answer. 
with, the, with the answer. <laughs> no, only the answer, not the question. Okay. Okay, I get it at six o'clock. And yes, I always take a shower in the morning. I go to work by bus. And I start to work at eight o'clock. And I usually have my lunch in my house. Um, I make a pasta with chicken for the lunch. And I have dinner at six o'clock. I have dinner with my son and my husband. <laughs> and I study in in the evening on English Corporativo. And I go to the bed uh half night okay a half after nine a half after night okay okay thank you Maria Maria Ana Victoria do it do it I get up at uh, five o'clock and um, sometimes I have a, a shower in the morning in order I have shower in the night. Um, I go to work every day driving at six o'clock and I start to work at 7.30. Uh, I usually, I have lunch in my office and all the and sometimes in my house, um, I have for lunch chicken or meat or fish with fresh, fresh salad and rice. I have dinner at 6 or 7.30. I have my dinner with my daughter and I help my daughter for with her homework. And I go to the bed at 12 o'clock. At midnight, midnight. At midnight. <laughs> they usually happen. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else? Uh, Ingrid, Ingrid, Ingrid. Ingrid is there. Ingrid, Elizabeth. I get up um, by o'clock and I am. Um, I have a shower in the morning. Um, I go to work by car and sometimes by bus. bus. Um, I start working at seven o'clock. Um, I have lunch and um, work at work. Um, I usually have lunch and chicken, meat, or pasta. I usually have dinner at seven o'clock. Um, I have dinner with my son. I study English at eight o'clock p.m. I go to bed at 11.30. 11, 11, 11. 11.30. 11.30, okay. 11. okay, what about you, Julia, Julia Janet? Hi, uh, I get up in the morning uh, at four o'clock in the morning. Um, yes, I do. I take a shower at 
for uh, 50 uh, in the morning. Uh, I go to work be car. I start work at 7.30 uh, in the morning. Um, I have fried chicken and vegetables. Uh, I eat dinner at 7, uh, pardon, at uh, 10 p.m. Uh, I eat di dinner with my family. Uh, I um, watch TV after I English class. E and I go to the bed at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Okay. Really hard. Really hard. Okay. Thank you very much. The rest, if you want, you can do it tomorrow. For now, let me check up the, the attendance again because we are so close to finish. Okay, Anna Victoria, are you there? Anna Victoria? Yes, I am here. Okay, so, uh, Andres. Andres is there, say hello. Angel I'm here, Giovanni. Sir. Okay. I'm here. Okay, Angel Giovanni. Angel, Angel. Sí. Brenda Natalie. Presentation. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carlos. I'm here. Okay, Diana. Present. Erika. Present. Evelyn. Present, teacher. Okay, uh, Ingrid. Present, teacher. Ismael. Ismael. Say hello, Ismael. Uh, Julia, Janet. Present, teacher. Uh, Katia. Present, teacher. Uh, Luis Armando. Present, teacher. Marvin. I don't see Marvin here today. Marvin. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Yeah. Um, Michael. Ya no se ha visto Michael. Eh, Rosalie. Rosalie. Present. Eh, eh, Sandra. I'm here, teacher. Teacher. Oh. Oh. Ismael creo que tiene problemas con el audio. Ay, 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 I got it. Ismael is there. Present, present. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. I don't see Ingrid. Ingrid, where are you? Teacher, sorry, teacher. Uh, Okay, Ingrid. Uh, I don't know if you are busy because you had listening listener there. Uh, today you have ten minutes for the okay. Victoria. So I hope to see you at the end of the session. Prepare okay. all your question. No me mencionó teacher aquí Alejandro Cruz. Pero que no lo mencioné. Let me see. Where is it? Jose Alejandro Alvarado Cruz. I hear the chat. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Well, teacher. Hello. In me. Sandra. Yes. Okay, Sandra Yvette. Yes, there too. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, now uh, what you can do is just to try to create your own uh, personal routine by, ma by mind. You don't need to write down anything in order to create 
la tarea que les dejo, que traten de crear su rutina diaria eh, con el vocabulario que ya aprendieron sin estar leyendo nada. Y ustedes hacen okay. como, como el ejercicio que presentamos de la última uh, muchacha y hacen su párrafo así parecido, pero ya en forma oral. ¿no? Y de esa manera incluimos ya lo que hemos eh, el nuevo vocabulario. Y usted trate, trate de, de organizar su mente. Los que no participaron hoy por estar eh, The listener, uh, tomorrow you are going to have the chance to do it at the beginning. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. See you okay. tomorrow. Sure. See Thank you. Good night. 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 Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. Hey, um, Ingrid. I can hear you. Yes, tell me all the questions that you have. If you don't know how to say in English, just tell me in Spanish. I'm going to give you a hand with that. Lo que no se comprenda, me lo dice en español. Por ser módulo uno, lo voy a dar. Bueno. Ok. Este, creo que por ahorita siento que me falta bastante como practicar porque hay muchas palabras que mi mente como que sí las pronuncia bien, pero ya mi, mi cuando me salen en palabras ya no, siento que no, lo, lo, no me cuesta pronunciarlo un poco. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahí la clave sería, eh, generalmente somos personas ocupadas ya los adultos, pero hay que tener ahí en lo que está, por ejemplo, si cocina, en lo que está cocinando en su teléfono, puede puede tener como que una película o algo donde esté en inglés para ir oyendo. De repente aparecen palabras que ya las vimos y usted las asocia y usted dice, ah, así es. Ya. Entonces, sí. eso, eso ayuda bastante. No hay forma mejor que para mejorar la pronunciación que oír un nativo hablando. Sí, sí, sí. es cierto. Así es. Entonces, en un nivel básico, eh, nosotros... Aprendemos a decirlo eh, como que así bien clarito, pero a, a medida va avanzando, como que la lengua de la gente dice, es que ya el nivel avanzado, ¿verdad? como que la lengua se enreda, ya no entiendo y no sé qué, pero es que hay que ir eh, educando el oído. Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces en el segundo nivel ya es como, ya casi no, no nos va a dejar hablar mucho español. La idea es ir creando el ambiente para que todos practiquen. Mm. Sí. Sí. Y, y, como, y como vamos creando la necesidad, entonces usted dice, no, te voy a poner en fila porque yo necesito expresar esto que pienso. Ajá. Y del mismo vocabulario que vamos viendo es lo que vamos usando. Por ejemplo, eh, hemos visto el día de ayer y hoy la rutina diaria. Ya el día de mañana usted eh, tal vez no va a utilizar todo el vocabulario, pero ya va a poder mencionar parte de su rutina. Y a eso es aprendizaje. Sí, el correcto. El momento que usted comience y me diga, ok, I'm going to tell you my daily routine, I get up at this time, I take a shower, I take breakfast, I go to my work. Ah, entonces estamos usando el idioma. Sí. La gente dice, no, es que yo no puedo hablar inglés. Claro que sí puedo. <risa> Lo que pasa es que hay que ir step by step, paso a paso, despacio. Ah, sí, de hecho, <risa> bueno, quizás ahora porque ya empezamos como a estudiar esto, eh, me he dado cuenta de muchos anuncios así en la calle de que están como en inglés, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Y ya como, mi mente como que ya comienza como a identificar más las palabras y así. Sí, Aunque lo, no la sé, ¿verdad? Pero... sí, lo que sucede es que ya el cerebro, 
como que ya le comenzó a dar espacio al idioma en su mente. Entonces, cuando usted mira algo, eh, el mismo cerebro le avisa y le dice, mira, mira. ¿Sí? Correcto. Sí, eso es lo que sucede. Y ahí viene la curiosidad de querer entender qué es lo que significa. Sí, porque lo mismo me pasa como con las canciones. Pero... Sí. Sí, eh, tal vez ya he escuchado como muchas veces la misma canción, pero... Ahora como ya le presto un poco más de atención para saber qué palabras pronuncian los cantantes y saber identificar cada una de ellas. Sí, es precisamente lo que, lo que hacemos. Aunque la gente eh, hace hasta un, un, un chiste de eso, que hay algunas canciones que ellos mencionan lo que creen. Y en la radio, póngame tal canción y mencionan algo parecido. Sí, es cierto. Ah, pero... Pero ya nosotros que estamos entrando en esto, ya decimos. Sí. Aunque de ellos hecho, lo hacen por broma, pero. Ajá, pero de hecho, yo de me sacar. había tomado la molestia de, de, de identificar la, las palabras esas con las que la gente identificaba la, las canciones, como usted dice, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Que no era lo que, lo que en sí decía la palabra, pero era algo muy diferente, de hecho. Así es. Pero, pero sí se escucha como lo que las personas dicen, pero no es así. Así es. Entonces, uno lo que hace es como afinar su oído y comenzar a como que entra en otra dimensión. Así llamémoslo, como que entramos en otra dimensión. Y cuando ya estamos viendo la televisión, uno de repente dice, wow, no sé cómo, pero entendí todo lo que dijo ese, ese tipo ahí. Aunque yo no lo puedo expresar, pero ya eso es un avance porque ya el cerebro ya va dando espacio y, y, y aunque sea en forma interna de su cerebro ya va codificando el mensaje y eso es lo importante es un proceso la, la verdad me he sorprendido porque en dos semanas o sea acaba lo que usted dice verdad que el cerebro le va dando como espacio al sí. idioma porque o sea siento que es, es un corto tiempo y, y es como le he prestado bastante atención Sí. Al, al idioma en, no solo acá en las clases ¿verdad? sino que ya afuera como en el trabajo, en la calle o cuando escucho una canción o algo así Sí, lo que sucede es que eh, en forma que inductiva ah, lo que voy haciendo es como que voy tocando algunas partecitas de su cerebro con algunos ejercicios Entonces, de repente yo le pongo que hace pareos que hace eh, el orden de las palabras. Entonces, todos esos ejercicios son precisamente para ir dándole espacio en el cerebro al lenguaje. Entonces, por eso es que usted hace esa comparación y dice en dos semanas, wow, eh, ¿cómo, ¿cómo me he llenado? Eh, y claro, si, si así como los niños son una esponja, también nosotros podemos hacerlo. Y con más dificultades, eh, sí, pero, pero lo, que, lo, lo que más interesa es tener la voluntad de aprender. Sí, correcto, es lo más importante. Sí. Así es que um, I invite you to continue doing in that way and try to listen different kind of music that you like and if you watch uh, a series in Netflix or something else, try to do it in English. Y okay. si puede, cuando va viajando, si es que no maneja, ahí puede ir oyendo alguna canción que le guste y ya luego lo que puede hacer, si no entendió alguna parte, busque esa canción en YouTube y póngale el lyric y ahí le van a aparecer eh, ya las letras y usted va a decir eh, si así era entonces eso es aprendizaje también de hecho ¿no? eso estaba haciendo últimamente <risa> okay. con canciones que ya había repasado muchas veces sí. pero no le había prestado mucha atención a la letra okay, perfecto, muy bien Ajá. excelente, bueno me gusta porque eh, esta, además de tener el, las dos horas, nosotros agarramos como un autoaprendizaje, una forma, nos identificamos y esa es la que nos ayuda a seguir adelante. Así que la felicito y sigamos adelante. Gracias, Ficha. Ok, thank you very much. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.